from the last four lectures we are dealing with two port systems and now it is time to apply what we have learned till now so in this lecture we will solve one problem based on two port systems approach you can see the problem on your screen and in this problem we have packaged amplifier as shown in the figure this box here is the packaged amplifier and as we already know in the packaged amplifier we have the amplifier circuit plus the information about the no load voltage gain information about AV NL the no load voltage gain plus the information about the input impedance and the output impedance you can see AV NL is equal to minus 480 ZI the input impedance is equal to 4 kilo ohms ZO the output impedance is equal to 2 kilo ohms and this information is sufficient to find out all the required parameters we do not require the amplifier circuit to find out the required parameters Vs is the source voltage Vo is the output voltage Rs is equal to 0.2 kilo ohms Rs is the source resistance RL is the load resistance and uh, this is the case in which we have the source resistance as well as the load resistance the general case and if you remember the last presentation we analyzed this particular case and because of that we will use the obtained results directly in the A part we need to determine the loaded voltage gain the loaded voltage gain means AVL with load resistance equal to 1.2 kilo ohms RL is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms and we also need to compare it to the no load voltage gain so first thing is to find out AVL with RL equal to 1.2 kilo ohms and the second thing is to compare it with AVNL let's move to the solution the solution of A part solution of A part AVL is equal to RL divided by RL plus RO RO is the output resistance or we can say the output impedance so in place of RO in place of RO we will have ZO ZO multiplied with the no load voltage gain we have everything to calculate the loaded voltage gain RL is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms 1.2 kilo ohms RL 1.2 plus ZO is equal to 2 kilo ohms 2 multiplied with AVNL which is equal to minus 480 and when you solve this you will have loaded voltage gain equal to minus 180 now we will compare AVL with AVNL AVNL is equal to minus 480 and AVL is equal to minus 180 so there is significant drop in gain with the load resistance equal to 1.2 kilo ohms 1.2 kilo ohms load resistance is not giving us good loaded voltage gain this is what we have from the obtained result now we will move to the B part in the B part we have to repeat part A with load resistance equal to 5.6 kilo ohms so instead of having 1.2 kilo ohms as RL we will have RL equal to 5.6 kilo ohms let's try to find out the effect of changed load resistance on the loaded voltage gain solution B RL is equal to 5.6 kilo ohms AVL in this case is equal to minus 353.76 which is good so you can see with increase in load resistance load resistance AVL also increases so this is one important result which we can draw from the solution of B part with increase in load resistance the loaded voltage gain also increases now we will solve the C part of the problem in which we have to calculate the overall voltage gain with RL equal to 1.2 kilo ohms the overall voltage gain depends on the load resistance as well as source resistance AVS is equal to RI where RI is the input resistance instead of writing RI we can write ZI ZI 
i divided by z i plus r s the source resistance multiplied with r l divided by r l plus z o multiplied with no load voltage gain you can see overall voltage gain is dependent on source resistance as well as the load resistance now we will calculate overall voltage gain z i is equal to 4 kilo ohms r s is equal to 0.2 kilo ohms load resistance is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms and you can see we have already calculated r l divided by r l plus z o multiplied with a v n l and it is equal to minus 180 so in place of this we can write minus 180 minus 180 when you solve this you will have avs equal to minus 171.36 on comparing avs with avl avl you can see avl is larger than avs avl is greater than avs and the reason is source resistance with source resistance in this circuit the gain reduces and in this case there is reduction of 8.64 volts there is reduction of 8.64 volts due to 0.2 kilo ohms of source resistance so this is all the d part of this problem is homework for you in the d part you need to calculate the current gain with rl equal to 5.6 kilo ohms you already know the formula of current gain use that formula calculate the current gain and once you have your answer post it in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one